for the morning friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing out there? If you're not feeling wonderful and beautiful today, make sure you smack that like button, touch it, tickle it, and you'll be feeling 100% better, your money back guaranteed. All snakes today, snake Saturday, we're gonna be doing some updates on our Coral Glow Champagne Clutch, and at the very end, we're gonna bust out Junior, our articulated python, and give you guys an update on him. One quick announcement before we get started with these snakes who all have their own perfect little inconsistencies and beauties that they contain within themselves. Uh, dude, I love ball pythons. Don't you guys love ball pythons? I imagine most of you watching this channel love ball pythons. You leave, leave a comment down below for ball pythons. Let us know how you feel about them. I would love to hear. They're just all, they're just, it's just like this most beautiful, everyone's their own little unique thing and creature with beauty and just a joy to bring into your life. I'm not joking, I'm serious right now. Next weekend, we're going to be at the Roseville show outside of Sacramento. So if you know anybody in Northern California that wants to come hang out, if you're in Northern California, you wanna come hang out, I'm gonna be hanging out with my buddy Jimmy over at Ball Life. At his table, I'm gonna be set up filming interviews of Triple B TV. If you know somebody who you think should be on Triple B TV, leave a comment down below, let me know who it is. And we will work on getting that person on so we can go over to our Patreon Zoom call meetings with them after the fact. And if you want my personal opinion on it, I think it's great. Okay, let's take a look here, this first boy. So on this clutch, we got perfect odds, meaning we got three coral glows and three champagnes, three males, three females, all 100% head pied. If you are interested in one of these animals, please send me an email right here at bcuscoatme.com and get yourself on the list. And even better yet, let me know which one you're specifically interested in and we can, we can get you going on that. The distinguishing feature about this guy that I really noticed was that he has very uniform alien heads going all the way down the side. You see that he's got two eyes inside each classic alien head on the side of ball pythons. If this is your first time joining us for ball python stuff, the alien heads are these little markings right here that look like an alien head, hence alien head. And when they've got the two eyes, they're truly alien heads. Sometimes they have one eye and then people call it a keyhole. I like to just call them alien heads no matter how many eyes they have because I don't know how many eyes aliens really have. I guess two. And then you can see the deep purple that is inspired by smoke on the water. I mean, inspired by the het pied. For whatever reason, the het pied really brings out contrast in the coral glow ball python, which is absolutely phenomenal. I love it, you love it. Yep, that is snake number one. Male coral glow, a thing of beauty. Right along to snake number two, another male coral glow, 100% het pied. The distinguishing features on this guy, that he has a few of them really. His neck stripe, instead of being a stripe, it kind of branches off to one side, you can see, kind of diverges off towards the side of his neck. And then if you look right in the middle of his back, that to me looks like a set of, that to me looks like a set of ovaries and uterus. If you guys know what that is, boys and girls. And the other thing that caught my eye even before that, I noticed that after the fact, I saw this little ding dong right here that was pointed right towards that ovary and uterus, which is perfect for breeding. If you're thinking about breeding these guys, well, I mean ovary and uterus. And then look at the uh, pied tracking that you can still see because of that contrast coming into the coral glow from the head pied. And look at the beautiful contrast between the purple and orange on this hakamaka right here. That is absolutely fan flipping tastic i've never seen something so fan flipping tastic in my entire life when it comes to orange and purple oh my god <laughs> Snake number three, the third coral glow, 100% het pied, male, male, 
Maker. This guy has some real nice uh, blushing, if you want to call it, but inside the alien heads, that het pied influence coming up in that hakamaka, making it look real nice, real different. But the main feature on this boy that I was thinking, which I haven't been pointing this out actually, but all three of them have this nice little orange heart in the center of their headstand, right towards the back there, a little orange heart. All of them have that. What this guy has is all of the alien heads meld their minds. Many of the alien heads coming across the top to join forces in heads and brains and create this kind of banding or tiger striping across the top. Sorry about my shaky hands, I had too much coffee. Um, wow, I am just shaking. That is incredible. <laughs> Steady boy, steady boy. There we go, yeah, take a look there. Look at that, look at the melding of the minds happening. We'll call this snake the mind melder. Mm, so nice, so sweet. <sighs> All right, so that's snake number three. Snake number four, our first female and first champagne of the clutch is this beautiful girl right here whose het pied influence is absolutely incredible with the orange and the high amount of white in the back almost like you don't even need to have a visual pied with a champagne het pied something that I find to be quite enjoyable something that I think that most people out there would find quite enjoyable in fact if you ended up with this snake I feel like your life would be quite enjoyable isn't she just so cute? She's a little thing. She needs to have a couple more meals. Well, in all fairness, they all need to have a few more meals before they're going anywhere near Morph Market because that's just how we do it around here and that's how we think it should be done everywhere. But look at the orange. Look at the orange coming up in the tail from that champagne head. Hi. She's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl in a beautiful world. How you guys been liking the Music Mondays? Snake number five and the second champagne coral glow female. You may remember this beauty from before she shed out because of that amazing head stamp that she has going on there. Kind of a half half thing. It's almost like a, a giant birthmark type of deal going on there. And she's gorgeous. She's a beauty. And she also has a bit of white down there towards the tail, thanks to the head pied influence. She's got that eye stripe trying to show up, busting through that champagne. Well, champagne is a, as you can tell, highly, very powerful and heavy, heavy gene, which when you throw Enshi in there, it really starts to bring back all this pattern. But if you look really closely on the sides of a champagne, you can actually see these very tiny and very jumbled together alien heads. It's hard, it's faint, but it's there. If you look really closely in good light with a good camera, you can see it. They're there. It's almost like really tiny alien heads all jumbled together, just faint, just trying real hard to come through, but they are there. Can you see them? Leave a comment down below if you can see them. If you can't see them, leave a comment down below saying you are out of your mind. There's nothing there to see. I need that comment. I need it and I need it now. And moving on to snake number last. Snake number six, our third female champagne, 100% het pied, ball python, python regius, royal python, BP, pet rock, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Leave me a comment down below. What do you call ball pythons when talking to your friends about ball pythons? When saying, hey, I've got a ball python. What do you say? Do you say BP? Do you say Royal? Do you say the best thing I've ever experienced in my entire life via animal snake? Check out this little het pied marker on the back. Looks just like a het, looks just like a pied saddle. It's like somebody took the saddle off of a pie ball ball python and said, here, slap it on the back of that champagne and let's see what we can do with that. Again, snake number three. Female champagne ball python. A thing of absolute beauty. What a life we're living. Isn't this a great life? It's a freaking fantabulous life. I hope you guys are living yours to your fullest potential every single day, like me, sitting in my snake room, talking to you about 
life and snakes and how wonderful it is. I swear I had something else to say there. Oh yeah, time to look at Junior. That's right, Junior coming out looking more glorious and gloriful than he's ever been in his entire life, getting more glorious by the second. And now we got a small interruption from our second hand party. Come on in, say hello to the people. You don't want to show off in your exercise clothes? Hello, people. Oh, hey, what, what, what are you doing? I'm sorry, something went off. I don't know. Ah, sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, I guess I'm bringing her with me. <laughs> um, if you give me three minutes. Okay. One minute and a half. Okay, yeah. There he is, Junior, our beautiful motley golden child reticulated python. Had such a struggle with us, but doing so fantastic now. Hi, Junior. You're such a good snake. Look at your beauty. Look at your iridescence. Look at how amazing. So, a good reason to bring him out, actually, is that uh, Champagne and Golden Child, I find to be kind of corresponding uh, genetics when it comes to snakes going across species from reticulated python to ball python. To me, Coral Glow is very much like a golden child, Retic. Now this one has Motley, so he's that's why he's darker like this, but just amazing. Very different snakes, but very much the same in the fact that they're awesome, beautiful, gorgeous creatures that should be celebrated and held up on the highest pedestal possible because they don't have legs to do it on their own. Thank you guys for tuning in with us today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed checking out our snakes with us and we will see you on Monday for a fantabulous Music Monday, one that you unprecedentedly haven't seen before. That made total grammatical sense. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on Monday. Aloha, goodbye. I'm leaving now. I should have left a long time ago. To